Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I recently finished reading a real interesting book, Crowdfunding Basics by Michael J. Epstein. Or Epstein. Um, this is a guidebook that is real short. It's 75 pages. And um, I was a little skeptical at first that I might find useful, inter interesting kind of info in here. I thought it might be kind of factual, but as I was reading through it, I saw a number of tips and I saw some accumulated wisdom. Um, so Michael J. Epstein, um, he has produced five uh, films, feature films. Uh, one, two, uh, sorry, three feature films that were funded with Kickstarter. So this is a book of uh, we some of his hard-earned lessons. You can learn some of his hard-earned lessons. Um, let's let's take a look at some of the quotes I grabbed out of the book. So here's Michael. He, uh, he's the editor. He's the he's the uh, author of this book, and uh, so he's a writer, musician, and scientist. And the book is pretty affordable. You can see the the, the cover price. I think is twelve dollars. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So here's a quote I found that I found real interesting. The importance of being the underdog. Backers of crowdfunding projects often consider themselves to be part of a community coming together to bypass unfair economic systems and traditional gatekeepers. While large-scale, professionally organized crowdfunding projects exist, many backers believe crowdfunding campaigns should be used primarily by those without access to traditional sources of funding. Backers want to support the underdog and may look down on founders with access to wealth or traditional investors. So that is interesting. I found that interesting. And then here was some hard-earned wisdom about hidden costs from shipping to backer melt. It is important to remember that your goal must include money to cover campaign and fulfillment costs. It's very common for first-time crowdfunders to vastly underestimate these costs or fail to include a buffer for unexpected changes. And he goes on to explain that in his crowdfunding, there was some international, a large number of international backers, and it became very complex that the shipping costs so, and he wasn't expecting a large number of international backers. Uh, let me read through parts of the table of contents so you get a sense of the book. Uh, there's an introduction about the growth of found funding, crowdfunding, why crowdfunding, um, what kind of projects are suitable for crowdfunding, creative, entrepreneurial, public good charities, um, planning the campaign is another whole section of the book even though it's a short book. It's very concise. Preparing campaign assets and rewards, setting up tiered rewards and running the campaign, and then chapter five, after the campaign. So this is a very concise book. It's pretty nicely laid out. There's photographs and some charts in here. Um, the one thing I was a little, um, I was hoping to see was some Patreon, patreon.com. There's a brief mention of Patreon and I was hoping to see more of that because I really think Patreon is pretty fascinating. Um, oh, I like this part. Crowdfunding campaign raised $2 million in 24 hours for Honey on Tap. So, um, there's a new tech, uh, Flow Hive with its patented beehive design has raised $2 million on the crowdfunding site Indiegogo since its campaign launched less than 24 hours ago. Wow. So, raised $2 million in 24 hours for Flow Hive. That was that uh, the honey thing where you have a little tap, like a beer tap on uh, the beehive. It's pretty fascinating. Anyway, so um, I recommend this book. It's real short, but concise. And um, at the end of the book, um, there's a little section about other books in the series, in this 30-minute series. And um, introduction to Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. So, and that's a second edition book, which covers um, the new improvements in uh, Google Drive, in the 2014 and 2015 improvements uh, in Google Docs and Drives. So anyway, I like this book. I think the publisher uh, uh, brings value. And the author is genuine. 
Um, and there are lots of crowdfunding books out there that I'm really not that excited about because it's easy to write a crowdfunding book. But uh, as a reader, you should be asking, what is the author's uh, accumulated wisdom? And how good are they sharing that accumulated wisdom in a way that's going to be beneficial to you? So uh, the author hits this mark in this book. This is Phil Shapiro. I hope you found that helpful.